Hello there and welcome back. Well, this is by request from uh, someone from last year, actually. Uh, this is January 1st, 2018. I have some time since I'm doing an update, a system update on my Xbox One. I haven't used that uh, in quite a few months uh, either. Anyway, let's take a look at the latest MX Linux number 17 code name Horizon during the last poll for the best Linux based operating system for 2017. You, a lot of you guys seem to like this one. And I have to tell you, just playing with this briefly inside a virtual box, it plays very, very nice inside a virtual machine. And that's always a joy. I will not be installing this or doing a full review because I don't think I have to. This is impressive. So let's take a look at this and see what we have. Now I am uh, using Linux Mint. For this one, Linux Mint as the host machine, of course, with virtual machine or virtual box. You can run this you know, in Windows. It's perfectly safe to test a Linux-based operating system in a virtual box. All right, so this is the default desktop here. Let's take a look at the welcome screen. I think, you know, for I think for beginners to Linux, this should be a welcome screen should be mandatory. It should be the law, a federal law to have a welcome screen for Linux for new beginners. Now, if you're, you know, if if you're testing something like Arch or Gen 2 that's not really designed for beginners, maybe not a welcome screen, maybe. But for something like this, yeah, you want a welcome screen. So let's take a look at some of the shortcuts here and see what we have just briefly. Uh, user manual, pretty much self-explanatory. We'll go to the wiki page. And wiki uh, can sometimes be a very good source if it's accurate uh, for whatever information that you need. It looks like in multiple languages. Very good. Tools. Let's see what's under tools. Now, I will say this before I forget. If, if you run this as a full install, it should run faster, even though it's running fairly quick uh, the way it is now. So we have live maintenance setup software. Uh, as a, if you're a beginner, you may not know what all of this means. That's okay. Take a look at the manual first. Some of this you can probably figure out, such as welcome, the tweak tool, uh, system sounds. Conky is this nice little graphic that you see here with the time and the date. Uh, and that can be changed also. System sounds, package installer. So some of this you might be able to figure out on your own. But the, th this is nice. This is, this is part of the system tool. It's very nice. And finally, the tweak tool. For example, the monitor. You can move it up or down, right or left. Theme. You have several themes. I'll just keep it the way it is. Compositor other and some other options here that you might be able to figure out on your own without reading the manual but you should if you are new to the world of Linux you should really take a look at this uh, manual to get started all right well let's close this out nice def the nice default wallpaper you have the logo here at the bottom right the installer it should be a fairly uh, user-friendly installer again I will not be installing this since it runs pretty good the way it is in live mode you can right click Many, many options here. This is what I miss in the current GNOME desktop. You know, it's not as customizable as what you see here. Let's go ahead and, um, how about desktop settings? Uh, real brief, we'll take a look at some wallpapers. Uh, and it looks like my update to my Xbox is done, but I'll stick around and finish this up. Um, I think I'll keep it the way it is. Let's go ahead and right click again. Now, the one thing I li I've liked about the XFC environment, number one, it's lightweight, it's user-friendly. And I do like the fact when you right-click, you have multiple options, including taking a look at what's installed. And you can also go to the, to the Start button, and I'll show you that in a moment. But let's go ahead and um, let's go down the list briefly. Settings, let's see if anything here catches my eye. I, I, this, this is lightweight, to, to, to be sure, but a lot, a lot of apps installed. Uh, to get you started, especially if you are a beginner uh, to the world of Linux. Uh, let's see if anything catches my eye. Grub cust customizer you don't often see installed by default. Of course, the MX tools, the MX tweak, very important. Uh, let's see. 
Synaptic Package Manager, a great tool for installing and deleting software. Not really designed for newbies, but not that difficult to learn either. Tweaks, drivers, and workspaces. That's under settings. If we go to um, accessories, let's see if there's anything here catches my eye. The Conkey Manager. And this will give you some other options here to change this. So you see the time and day. Let's um, let's unclick that. Let's let's go to these briefly. Okay, there's one there. Unclick that. This is cool. So user friendly. You, you don't have to worry about any kind of terminal commands or anything like that, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, there's something different there. Click that next one. All right, that one's not too visible, too clear. Let's try this one. Uh, that one's too light, I think. Next one. Hey, now I wear contacts or glasses. <laughs> yep, I have no problem seeing that one. And that's the default. Anyway, you get the picture, so let's just uh, let's leave it at default. Okay, all right, let's right click again. And back to applications, where were we? Accessories, okay, so the Conkey Manager, very nice. Uh, let's take a look at the MX Clocky Desktop Clock. Okay, simple clock with CPU and memory. Right click, quit, again, very user friendly. All right, let's go back to accessories, screenshot, task manager, Finar file manager, XF burn, a very nice tool to burn CDs and DVDs if you still do that. Let's go to games. I don't play a lot of games in general. Uh, Solitaire, Hearts, okay, graphics. Of course, the GIMP, the GNU image manipulation program for both uh, Linux and Windows, very good. Internet. Uh, I use Firefox and I use uh, Thunderbird Mail, multimedia. Uh, let's see, Clementine, a very good music player. GUVC View for your webcam. Pulse Audio, very good. Volume Control, SM2, VLC, a very good player. And there is XF Burn again. MX Tools, again, there's a lot here, so definitely take a look at the manual. Office, the ubiquitous LibreOffice system. Once again, for a beginner, for anybody to get started, this is packed. This is really, it's, it's, it's nice. They've done the uh, MX Linux developers, the team has done a very good job with this. Now, if you don't want to look at what's installed that way, you can go to the, to the panel here to the left. And there are some shortcuts here, Firefox, the file manager. Again, self-explanatory. You can click the, I'll call it the start button. I believe, I want to say this is the Brisk menu, but I don't think it's Brisk. I think it's, uh, the Brisk is what I use in Ubuntu Mate. I believe this is Whisker menu, if I am not mistaken. A nice little uh, search bar at the top, some shortcuts here. Again, the Conky toggle on and off, very nice if you, if, if you want a more clean desktop. Uh, so, again, we looked at what's installed. This is by category. This may help you out if you are a beginner. Let's take a look at the pulse audio volume control real quick. And again, this is self-explanatory. Playback, recording, output, input. Very good, very nice. You can right click there, open the mixer. Yeah, for a beginner, this shouldn't be that difficult at all and it's just probably one of the reasons why why a lot of you guys recommend this uh, for a new user or someone more advanced there's a lot here it's terrific it plays very nice uh, inside a virtual machine I mean I could probably spend an hour and go more in-depth uh, talking more about this terrific looking uh, Linux-based operating system. I think this is based off, for, off of Debian, I think. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, this looks, it looks great. It, um, there's some themes here. It, it runs great. It feels great. 
Uh, inside our virtual box, again, you know, your actual performance may vary as a full install. I would imagine as a full install, this will only run a little smoother and faster. But I know at least some of you have, uh, this is all you use or have, or have installed this uh, full test uh, as a full install, that is. And many of you seem to like this, and I can certainly see why. This is a um, terrific operating system. And who knows, you know, maybe this should have been number one last year instead of Solus. Just a thought, nothing against Solus. A lot of you like it, but this one just feels right um, out of the box. The panel to the left, I might, if I was going to install this, I might move this to the top. But again, you can uh, customize this any way that you want to. So take a look at this if you're interested. If you are new to the world of Linux, uh, it's great. It feels great. It looks great. Uh, very user friendly out of the box. Uh, let's see. Let's type in update MX updater. And uh, let's see. Let's see what comes up. Just out of curiosity. Okay, it says here I have 36 updates are available. All right, that's just an example of the, um, of course, you would uh, install the system first before you do any kind of an update. Uh, yeah, it looks great, it feels great, and take a look at this. I will have a link for this uh, below in the show notes. So if you upgrade, upgrade using Synaptic, yeah, yes you can. MX updater help, synaptic help, preferences, and the list goes on and on. Again, take a look at the manual if you're not too sure about what all of this uh, means. It's not, it's, it's not that hard. Okay, that is my look at the latest MX Linux number 17. I don't know, maybe this should have been, this should have been number one last year. Maybe, just my opinion. All right, well, that's all I have for this one, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please do support the channel. Give it a thumbs up, a like, and all that good stuff. And uh, I guess I will go back to my updated Xbox One and see what's new. I'll catch you guys later. Take care.